Today's video is sponsored by CarTurf. So good morning folks from another semi-warm and beautiful day here in Albania. So a bit of a solo hike today. This morning I'm at the Blue Eye, the one in the south of the country closest to Saranda which is where we were a few weeks ago and I mentioned that because on Google Maps if you type in Blue Eye a few different ones will come up. Just now arrived at the entrance but we parked the van in this very large parking lot about five minutes down the hill. We actually came here yesterday and we spent the night there. From what I can see normally I have to pay for everything but the guy said it's free of charge I guess just because we're out of season. I think I might need to pay to get in here though. Right? Yeah Blue Eye, yeah. 50 liters per person, 50 cents. So here we are. It was actually only 50 cents to get in. It's going to be a cheap day today. Free parking, 50 cents entrance, and this is it basically. It's the blue eye. It's like a lake, go through to a river, and I believe the deeper we go in, the colour of the river and lake turns more and more blue. past 10 minutes I've been walking along this curly road alongside the river really beautiful a lot of nature here as well so apart from the natural beauty of the river there's also so many species of animals that live here like the wolf fox so many birds there's even deer here as well I haven't seen anything yet but obviously there's loads living in the surrounding areas and there's also a really nice view of the mountains from here and just to clarify although we're walking alongside the river you can't really see it that much because we're a couple of meters away and there's the trees in between us but every now and then you see this opening and you can just see the crystal clear blue green river flowing down and i'm getting closer now to it because i can actually hear it now as well i actually wasn't expecting to see this and i really need to go That's the clearest water I've seen in Albania so far. Just arrived here at this viewing platform. I think this is the end of the hike and arrived at what they call the blue eye. The bottom of the river actually looks blue and there's this green vegetation coming out and it just looks so crystal clear. Just look at that. Wow. Was actually so beautiful to see there's also some signs there saying that you can't swim in here i've also noticed there's so many animals here there's so many cats and so many dogs so good thing that holly's back in the van at least So over the past few months, we've actually been getting quite a lot of messages from you guys asking how to go about setting up everything to start van life in Europe. We know how difficult this can be, especially for non-EU residents, but also for EU residents like us that want to use a vehicle outside of your home country for an extended period of time. In reality, anyone can come to Europe and buy a car, but you can't effectively start driving it until it's registered and insured on a local address. And that's where the sponsor of today's video, CarTurf, comes in. I actually wish they were about a few years ago because that would have made our life so much easier when we bought our van. CarTurf is a company based in Germany that help you buy, register and insure any vehicle in Europe even if you're not an EU resident. It can be a motorhome, camper van or even just a normal car. The team at CarTurf take care of all the paperwork and you can manage everything remotely without any stress. So imagine arriving in Europe and your vehicle is waiting for you fully registered, fully insured and ready to hit the road. Whether you want to head to the majestic Alps or even a sunny beach here in Albania. So I definitely recommend checking out their services at mycarturf.com and you can reach out to them with any questions. And not only that, we've also got a discount code for you. So if you are going to use their services, use the code TRAVELTOWS to get the initial 249 euro sign up fee waived. All the details and the link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. Me and Honey, we were trying to get out for the very first time today because at that spot where we were, there were dogs and I don't like her, you know, being with other dogs because she's a bit crazy. So we came to the spot and there's a lot of dogs as well. We just went outside and came right back in. So she's a bit frustrated right now because she really wants to go outside. Holly, you want to go outside? I know, I know, I know. Miskino, Miskino, Miskino. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go in five minutes, okay? 
<laughs> so this dog he came running as soon as he saw us and that's one as well there is another one here he's on the leash there we go this is my fishing box full of different adapters I went in quickly to ask him and he said it's drinking water and we can definitely fill up so perfect I also bought these adapters in Turkey and they come in handy in countries like this because they have a lot of these water points with fresh water mountains on both sides we left the region of Saranda and now we're entering Rio Caster right now we're on this mountain pass it's so cold outside it's like one degrees out there <laughs> and the roads in this area of Albania are phenomenal they're so nice they're flat they're wide as well perfect to drive mm -hmm. on. it's gorgeous here wow look at this mountain pass just by driving and seeing these wonderful mountains you know it gives me a lot of joy and excitement it's so wonderful especially this area of Albania we're on our way up to Giro Casta it's on the top of a hill so obviously we're going uphill but we managed to park in a good spot to be honest because we're already halfway up and something that we've realized right away is that it's freezing cold here so winter has arrived cold. up here <laughs> i don't know how you're in shorts yeah i'm all right in shorts i've got my hoodie on i have to put my hoodie back on because it's just too cold up here and it's because we're up so high that's yeah. why this is one of the cleanest places in albania yeah i really like this place You might remember we visited this place called Berat a few weeks ago. Very beautiful town. It was actually called the town of, or the city of a thousand windows. And this one is called the city of a thousand steps. There's actually so many interesting things to do here in Girokasta. Our first stop is just at this building here. We've just got inside and bought some tickets, 200 lek per person. Total that's four euros. And the guy is gonna take us now for a tour in this underground bunker which was built back in the Cold War. We didn't really know where we were going to be honest. There's a sign here which says tourist information. Stepped inside the room and there was a few people and it looks like it's a group tour so they actually take you down to the bunker themselves. Just careful with okay. your Okay. So we're currently inside and it is indeed a group tour. They take down groups to the bunkers. And so far we're just walking through this long tunnel with these rooms on each side. It was begin to build in 1963, because in 1960, Enver Hoxha, the leader of the Communist Party, broke the relationship with the Soviet Union. And he was afraid of a nuclear attack here in Albania. That's why he decided to build this bunker. And the only workers in here were the prisoners from a castle and the most trusted engineers Enver Hoxha had. Because this bunker was built only to accommodate 200 members of the Communist Party. And they wanted to keep this thing a secret for the population. But in 91, when the system changed, they learned about the truth about this bunker and they become very angry. They came in here, destroyed, and stole most of the stuff. I can't believe that we're actually inside a bunker. Even by the color in those walls show the importance of the man he was. He had to live in here like everyone else for three months in case of a nuclear attack and had everything he needed inside the room. Some years later, he became very paranoid about everything and he thought that America was going to invade Albania. Even in the beginning, in 45 or 46, when he took the charge of the party, the first person he decided to kill in the time was his brother-in-law. Oh. Just because he knew too much about yeah. his early life. That was the only reason. And believe me, even, let's say, 90% or maybe more of his friends, in the time he was in charge, he decided to kill them. Wow. He was afraid about everything. This is a tunnel, it's about 500 meter long and it takes you to two directions. One is behind Hotel Chayupi, the most important hotel Girokastra had in those times. And the other one go under the bazaar of Girokastra 
and go straight to the mosque of the city. Albania was a atheist country in that time, hence the mosque was ruled by the government, was like a military base over there. They even had a connection, a secret door connected with this tunnel. But right now, unfortunately, this tunnel is not that safe anymore because it's collapsed in the middle of it. Thank you. Don't want to get lost in the bunker. Bye bye. 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 Thanks so much. So that bunker was so cool, really interesting experience and it was actually so cheap as well so if you come into Eurocaster you definitely got to do that and he was a really nice guy, very informative and explained so much. To be honest we really love this place already, I don't know what it is but it's got this charm about it and we've just been walking through the town streets for the last few minutes. The city of? Thousand steps. <laughs> and I think we've done them already. I hope every step is worth it because we're starving and we're heading to a local traditional restaurant. So after all those steps, just before we go and have something to eat, we came for a quick pit stop to check out this awesome view of the city of Girokasta. And then there's the mountains in the distance. And then just right behind us, up here, there's the castle walls dating back to the 13th century, which used to be used as barracks for around 5,000 soldiers. What's so interesting here is that you've got the old buildings, which have been here for centuries, and then you've got modern buildings as well, and hotels and stuff like that. I do see some similarity with Barat as well, especially in the windows and the way they were built. The views in Albania never disappoint. Never. And I can imagine from those houses how better the view is. Hello. Yeah. Yes, we can come inside. Okay, with the dog? Hi, okay. Then you want a regular table. Great, okay, good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's actually a really cute restaurant. I've only got six tables and the kitchen is just through here. Currently we're eating the rice bones and these are a specialty of Rio Pasteur. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Enjoy. Musaka time. We ordered this because we saw the picture and it looked really good. They gave us this homemade cake. It's warm, it's so good. Chai. Thank you very much. You bet, thank you. Shumfa Levindari. You bet. Shumfa Levindari. Ciao. Thank you very much. Ciao. Absolutely mouth watering meal. Really good food. Amazing. Whoop, nearly fell over. The owner was so nice. She was very friendly and it was a really, really nice atmosphere. And now we're just walking back through the town and it looks so beautiful now. It's just getting dark. It's so beautiful, listen up, let <laughs> So beautiful, listen up at night. It is really. Hello. Can you sit down? I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit cold now. It is a bit cold. It's about five degrees, I think. Everyone's coming out dressed in their jackets and everything. Can I wear my shorts? And what I really love about this place is the, all of the colorful streets. So beautiful. So, pretty nice park up here, and we've got an excellent view of the castle and Geocaster. But we've decided to continue north and we wanted to find a park up which is a bit further away from the road. Although we can't really leave yet because someone's decided to park just in front of us. <laughs> I thought they were actually in the shop or something, just buying, but they haven't come back, so they've blocked us in. Problem solved. I wanted to stay a bit longer, but it's very cold now, so I prefer to stay in the van. <laughs> and now, as it is winter, it's getting dark very early. So we've arrived at this new parking spot. There are two other vans right next to us. And basically, we can't really see because it's pitch black out there. I don't know if you can hear, but we got the heater on today on four. I'm so in love with this weather now because it felt it, like winter was never about to come, you know? But now it's really starting to feel cold. I mean, in Gri Augusta, it was so cold. It was five degrees and I felt the coldest in Albania. We ate too much, but I'm in the mood for a cup of tea now. And I also bought a chocolate bar. This is one mine. Look at this one. <laughs> She's 
so tired. Good morning. So we can finally see what this place looks like. And to be honest, it hasn't disappointed whatsoever. So beautiful here. There's this river flowing down and it's a beautiful blue color. And we've got this excellent mountain view in front of us. We're just beside the road here, but it's very quiet with a really nice sleep. Although the van was a bit uh, slanted. So we've just moved it around now. We've decided that we're going to spend the day here and enjoy this magnificent view and not really do any driving today. In fact, we've also set up the solar panels over there so that we can charge up because we are running a bit low. The van batteries are okay, but our external batteries, the ones we use, the power banks, are both empty. And the problem is that our inverter is underneath the bed where the heater is. So when we're switching on the heater at night, it just gets too hot to use. And it's always important to watch your step here in Albania. As you can see, like this is cracking and it looks like there's nothing underneath this here. Yeah, this is it. Look at these mountains. There's a bit of rubbish here, as there always is in Albania, but so beautiful. Look at that. She's just ignoring me this morning. She's left near my legs. And all she wants is mum this morning. And mum. For some reason, this whole area here is just in the shade now. I think the sun is just behind here. So it looks like I've set up the solar panels for nothing for now. And it's got really cold. But it's a pretty nice spot here. There's just some locals they've come down. I think they're picking up wood for a fireplace, I guess. There's about three of them just going around picking up stuff. We've decided to walk on a bit here because we've seen this bridge. I'm not sure if it's footbridge. I saw someone going across on a bike or motorbike earlier on. So we're going to go and check it out, see what it is. So the bridge is actually bigger than I thought. Okay. Hello. Hello. Is the bridge safe? What? Is the bridge safe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's making these weird sounds. I think to Albanian standards, it's pretty safe. Hello. We made it to the other end at least, that's the main thing. Much warmer on this side of the bridge because here we've got the full sun and at this time of the year, like when you're in the sun you feel good. It's about 12, 13 degrees I think, absolutely perfect. But then when you're in the shade it quickly gets cold. And that's where our van is at the moment. So this bridge is called Ali Pasha Bridge and it connects the rural side here with the mountains across to Tepelele, I think it's called this town. And the town in front of us, like most towns here, is actually fortified as well. So you've got the big walls which used to protect the town or city. I've seen some cars on the other side, so obviously it is accessible here by car. But this bridge, at least for locals, it makes it a bit easier just to get from one side to the other. We've actually enjoyed having a bit of an explore about here. Something that you won't really search and go to, but seeing that we woke up here, we could have not come and check it out. The water here, it's not as blue as the blue eye yesterday morning, but it's pretty nice to be honest. I don't think you can really see them on the camera, but this bridge is full of cobwebs. I just keep getting stuck in them all the time. Ugh. For house. Yeah, the beam gel got to him. Got to him. And wood through it. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak Albanian. Only English. English. English? No, no, grazie. No. Thank you, thank you. Story straight. Ah, you found it here. Get up there. Nice, you keep it. Keep it. Yeah? Good find. Right. right, like most places in Albania, it is a bit let go, you know, with the rubbish and the overgrown uh, bushes and stuff like that. But the actual river and the way it flows down the valley is just so spectacular. And the mountains here are really, really beautiful. We've got about one week left in Albania and we've got some exciting videos to come. So stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to close today's video here because we're not doing much else here. I'm just going to head back in the van, switch on the heater and get some work done. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, leave us a comment and we'll see you next week.